To find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements in CuSO4, we'll use these general rules here. First off, in a neutral compound, and this is a neutral compound because we don't have a plus or minus charge like we would with an ion, all of the oxidation numbers for the CuSO4, they'll add up to zero. So with this compound, CuSO4, copper is a transition metal. It can have several different oxidation states, and we don't see sulfur on our list here. So we need to be able to recognize that SO4, that's called the sulfate ion, and its formula is SO4 2 minus. So in a compound like this, we said all the oxidation numbers add up to zero. We also know that in an ion, all the oxidation numbers add up to the charge on the ion. So if we have this 2 minus here, that means the copper, it's going to have to have an oxidation number of 2 plus. And then we can just figure out the oxidation number on the sulfur in the sulfate ion using this rule. In the ion, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge of the ion. So we don't know sulfur. Let's just call that X plus oxygen. That's always minus 2 with a few exceptions. So we have minus 2. We have four oxygens, and all that should equal the charge on the ion, this minus two here. So x minus eight equals minus two. X needs to equal plus six. And that's the oxidation number here on the sulfur. So those are the oxidation numbers on each of the element in CuSO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.